I guess that everybody is familiar with the first miracle of Christ during the wedding of Cana, when he turned water into wine. Or with the Eucharistic wine, which symbolically connect uh, Christ with its sacrifice, sacrifice which opens the doors of paradise for Christians. But you should consider that all around the medieval Mediterranean, drinking wine represents a gate for paradise or an image of heavenly life. So let me show you something about that issue. The evidence of this idea that the drinking wine represents a gate for paradise or an image of heavenly life appears already in early Christian monuments and in the porphyry sarcophagus, where the harvest is an allegory of the heavenly life and the wine shoots cover wooden panels and arches as symbols of paradise. We can find this kind of uh, visual documents, for example, uh, in the mosaics, early Christian mosaics of the Mausoleo of Santa Costanza in Rome. Um, and we, we have here the same iconography um, sculpted on the red porphyry where the color of the marble is connected with, with the wine uh, produced by these three little angels. Uh, the uh, wine shoots are used also as a frame uh, all around uh, the scenes uh, sculpted on the wooden panels of the door of the Basilica of Santa Sabina in Rome. Uh, a door opened only after the pre-baptismal rituals uh, which let the Christians enter into the church, which is uh, symbolically perceived as a paradise on uh, uh, earth. Uh, wine shoots in mosaics are used also in the introduce of uh, the arches of the Chiropitas church um, uh, in Thessaloniki, uh, built in the fifth century. And in the Dome of the Rock, the shrine in Jerusalem, built under the rule of the Mayad Caliph Abdal Malik at the end of the seventh century, uh, where the grasps are represented in the higher part of the architecture, in particular in the, in the beams and in the mosaics uh, created by a Byzantine workshop. The holy text of Islam, the Quran, frequently refers to wine, both praising and condemning the liquid, exactly as did by the Bible. Believers who imbibe wine, reaching an inebriated state, separate themselves from God by failing to heed his law. However, for those believers righteous enough to enter the heavenly afterlife, wine is not only permitted, but a great reward from Allah. They will gain a place in paradise, a paradise like that, um, created in mosaic in the porticos of the great mosque in Damascus, uh, by uh, the workshops called by the Caliph al-Walid at the very beginning of the 8th century, uh, uh, in which we can find precious palaces, um, uh, beautiful trees and fountains, uh, where we can imagine the writers drinking peaceful wi peacefully wine in a silver or glass cup, sitting on soft pillows, listening for heavenly music and watching beautiful dancers like that. The earthly life 
in Umayyad and Abbasid palaces underlines these paradisiacal promises with their gardens, artificial lakes, animals, musicians, dancers connected with the courtly life. Many other visual documents show the writers drinking wine. In pottery, for example, like in this bow in the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York, but also in ivory, like in that case, um, with, in which is show uh, a pixels or a little box uh, used to contain perfumes and uh, mm, uh, created in uh, Madinat al Zara at the end of the 10th century. But we can find this kind of iconography also in paintings. In the 12th century wooden ceiling of the Cappella Palatina in Palermo, 64 out of 398 figures show the drinkers who represent the courtly life both in paradise and in earthly banquets given by the King Roger II in the 40s. Um, the palaces uh, and the paradise are words very similar. These paintings and the wooden mukarnas were created by an Egyptian workshop which used the common iconography already attested in the palaces of caliphs and emirs all around Dar al-Islam, which means the house of Islam, a very wide house which covered the territories around the southern Mediterranean from east to west. Concluding, drinking moderately wine was common in the Roman Empire and in the Arabian Peninsula before the rise of Islam. The holy books of the three monotheisms show equivocal statements about drinking wine, maybe expressing the contrast between the usual behaviors and the religious prohibitions. Visual documents attest the circulation of ornamental motifs, such as the wine shoots as a symbol of paradise, and the iconography of drinkers holding a goblet, as did by the rulers in the palaces, and as Christ in the communion of the apostles in the Gospel book of Rosano Calabro, a manuscript painted in the sixth century on purple parchment purple parchment, red as the wine, red as the porphyry, red as the imperial garments, all symbols of eternal life and glory in medieval Mediterranean. So enjoy Islamic art and enjoy medieval art all around the Mediterranean context.